become best friends. Yup. You want to go do karate in the garage? Yup. Big ton of friendship. I like you. Do you like me? I do like you. You are my friend. You're a nice young man, and I am your friend. Shut me. I got friends now. I don't need you anymore. The friend request? Why ain't this my friend request, bro? But you don't want to be my friend. <laughs> Welcome to the friend request. I'm your host, Chloe Madron, and today I'm joined by the fantastic, very funny, beautiful Steph Broadbridge. Hello. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Yeah, this is so cute. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, oh, we were just talking about telling people your plans so that you have to do them yeah I wonder I worry um because I'm just not ready to let go of that conversation <laughs> <laughs> I worry um that like I'll get a sense of satisfaction from telling people about stuff yes and, and then, then it's I already do done it. and then yeah. you do it do you ever yeah. feel that I do all the time okay <laughs> but then also I feel like people will who won't remember? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what's worse. Maybe I shouldn't have told anyone. No, but if I didn't tell anyone, I wouldn't do it. I definitely wouldn't no, do it. No, I guess maybe it's just case by case. And yeah. some days you have to tell people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like everything else in life, it's nuanced and there's gray area. Also, you can tell how far behind you are with the jobs you have to do yeah. by the way people react. Okay. So if I say, I'm going to the UK in September yeah. and people go, oh my God, have you organized your visa yet? I'm like, oh no, okay, now I know I'm behind. Yeah, <laughs> that's so true. So I can get started on that admin. That's actually really true. That's how I've been figuring out. Um, I'm doing festivals for the first time next year. Are you? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wish yeah. me luck. Oh, you'll be fine. <laughs> but that's how I'm figuring everything out is I tell someone and then they go, what about this? Have you got this? And I'm like, mm. didn't know that I had to, honestly, but... Yeah, they don't tell you anything. They like to keep no. everything a little secret. It's insane. It's and then you figure it out when it doesn't work. And you're yeah. like, oh, I'll do that next year. Oh, <laughs> I hate it. I'm trying to get advice from people. But like, it is baffling to me mm. how convoluted it is and how many people that I wouldn't consider to be the brightest just do it all the time, you know? Yeah. You, like You just learn from mistake mistakes i know but there are so many goobers that just go straight in and they're like yeah i've got it all and i'm like how did you get through the 15 page application for me i was oh yeah <laughs> maybe i'm really dumb i don't know i think if you don't care about the answers it's really easy true okay <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah that helps yeah yeah if you don't care about most things also you can get like you can pay someone to do all that for you oh like management or just anyone? Yeah, like a producer. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. That sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> that does sound great. Um, her Huang was asking me the other day. She's like, you don't have management? And I was like, no. And she's like, you should get it. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> I should. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't think of that. Do you know what else? You should be 20. That's really helpful as well. Yeah. If you could just be yeah, 20. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. <sighs> I'll work on it. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck um, yeah. So this is a friendship podcast. Okay. And I want to know so much about you. <laughs> What's that noise? Nothing. No, I'm an open book. Yeah, 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 yeah. To my detriment. Classically, famously. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I got to be honest with you sometimes, like you're intimidating. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> I don't think that I am but no. I guess that's not up to me well none of us really know how we're perceived right mm. except from by ourselves but you're just like cool and <laughs> honest and assertive and all of these things and it's all the things men want in a woman oh um, yeah men and showbiz yeah <laughs> <laughs> no I'm just like me but I'm mm. like an old lady now so I wasn't always like that I'm just like that now <laughs> okay like 25 I was like scared and yeah giggly and like nervous yeah and unsure and trying to get everyone to like me mm -hmm. and but now I'm just like oh it's so much work like, yeah I'd rather not bother that sounds good it's so good that sounds really I think quite it just happens liberating. to every woman when they yeah. turn a certain age oh god <clears throat> I'm definitely starting to get to a point where I or oh, starting to get to a mm. point where I don't care if people like me but it's yeah, it takes Slow. forever, but it's the best. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, I mean, I do care. But people, you are beloved. I That's care if people that I care about like Yeah, me. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, but it's been a journey. What were you, 
like I tend to ask people what they were like as a kid pretty mm. early on. What were you like as a kid with like making friends? If it was up till 25, were you, were you worried about how people saw you being uh, liked? How were I making? I didn't really have friends. I just had like people that I would talk to mm-hmm. and I would just try and be as like them as I could be. <laughs> okay. So that they wouldn't notice that I was still hanging around. <laughs> Is that relatable? <laughs> <That's> a, <laughs> a very good tip, yeah. actually. <laughs> so I'd just be like, I'm also here, you know. Oh, yeah, actually, green's my favorite color too. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What are we doing tomorrow? Okay, yeah, cool, 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 cool. Love that. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Spinning. Yeah, okay. Fuck, how long were you like that for? Mm, I don't know, till like. 30 something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you find that because of that you tend to did, – did you like the people that you were being friends with? I don't know. Yeah, okay. I mean, some of them. Yeah. Like, I've still got friends from high school that I'm still – Yeah, that's friendly. good. Like, we don't hang out, but we're, you know. Yeah. We've been through some shit. Yeah. They've seen me at my worst. Oh, cute. Or whatever. <laughs> you know, all that <laughs> bullshit. But, yeah, they're like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember what you asked me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was just asking if you liked the people. Oh, yeah, some of them yeah. for sure. But then yeah. that's just life, right? You just find people everywhere. Yeah. So I've got one or two from that group mm-hmm. and then one or two from this group and then, you know, a few from comedy and yeah. you just sort of find them. That's nice. Yeah. That's good. Do you feel pretty like satisfied with uh, it seems to be a recurring thing that as everyone gets older, everyone's like, I've got my friends now. I'm good. I'm satisfied. Um, I don't know. You want better ones? Go to the UK. <laughs> Get some shiny ones. new ones. <laughs> I like the ones I have, but they're all very sort of brilliant. So they're busy. Mm, okay. And I'm not. I have nothing on. <laughs> so I need some less motivated friends. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need some lazier friends that I respect. They have to, like, I have to respect them for something else. <laughs> um, crochet skills, perhaps? Yeah, that keeps someone yeah, yeah, indoors, yeah. yeah. Anything, it's like, I'm free from when I wake up till about 7 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> so. What do you do with the time? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What do you do with that time? What, are, play tennis what is with everyone me. doing? I love tennis. I'm dying to play tennis oh my God, with someone. Me too. <laughs> I tried to get tennis lessons from Ben Koshin, yeah. but I think he was too busy. Oh my God. He's so popular. These popular, brilliant yeah. people. <laughs> it's awful. Too busy. <laughs> it, it's, it's nice, though, to be surrounded by people that you look up to right it's great it's really good it's good yeah you never feel like you're enough <laughs> and that's important <laughs> fuck you should never feel satisfied or content <laughs> you should always feel like i could be doing more <laughs> um yeah like would you say that you're a pretty competitive person with yourself i don't think so no Maybe. oh yeah <laughs> i don't know competitive's a weird word because i'm not competitive i just um yeah, I just, I like being busy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And but like, like improving. Yeah, exactly. Are you comparing things like, like, oh, last year I did this much, so this year I got to do more and like that sort of yeah, a, little a race bit. against yourself. That's yeah. true. That's, yeah, that is what I do. Yeah. That's spot on. I never saw it as competitive. I just saw it as like, oh, I'm not good enough, so I have to work harder than <laughs> everyone else. That's just what motivates me. Yeah. I feel like if I ever was content, I'd just sort of lie on the floor and kind of just have food kind of drip fed oh. into my face <laughs> yeah <laughs> until i died that would be it sounds so comfortable it would be great <laughs> to be satisfied with what you've done yeah oh my god yeah i reckon i'd just stop immediately <laughs> <laughs> if i was like okay i'm good now i'm gonna stop yeah damn yeah. i just get sick just get sick from not moving and just well yeah being force fed through a tube yeah or you could be in the best shape of your life oh <laughs> yeah <know>. okay <laughs> okay no i've clearly got some food issues <laughs> just do a few sit-ups in between oh it's a it's a weird i i don't know i definitely relate to that mm. and it, i guess it makes me feel personally relatively alone in those thoughts in those spirals and stuff even within my friendships and i guess especially being in like comedy and 
you know, music as well mm. and having these wonderful people around you but kind of – I try not to compare myself to anyone else but myself but it yeah. is like this isolating world of also but what am I doing, you know? Yeah, well, it's an, it's an individual sport, isn't it? Yeah. Um, we're not an ensemble. Mm-mm. And it's very much like – even when you're doing a show together, mm-hmm. you want to do the best out of everyone. <laughs> <laughs> like I you don't appreciate care. the truth. That's you don't so care if like, <laughs> we win. Like, it's not us versus the crowd. It's us yeah. versus each other. <laughs> yeah. And the crowd only matters. Like if it's a shit night and I do really well, that's, yeah. That feels better than everyone doing well. Oh, my God, obviously. <laughs> That's better. I will go away from that feeling way better. Yeah, I want my friends to fail. <laughs> but I don't. But I, I mean, I do get a kick out of it. It's fucked, isn't it's it? It's so fucked. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I, it's so real. Yeah. It's, I think uh not ma- many people admit to it but i think most people feel that way especially in yeah. creative shit but i want my friends to be successful so yeah. i separate that yeah. on a show i want to do better than them but mm-hmm. like in their careers that's when i think you can't compare because mm. that's not no one's doing like there's no one part there's no any no, path no no one's doing the exact same yeah. thing i think that um it's easier to see that when it's like someone doing their own thing where you're like, well, I couldn't have done that because I'm just like, I'm not blonde. So that's just not going to be my world, you know, Mm. or I'm a girl or whatever else. Yeah. And I think also the reality of what some careers look like, like a lot of them might look good on paper and a lot of them are good for other people. Mm -hmm. But if I actually thought about what my day to day would be, Mm. I would probably kill myself. Oh my God, so true. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, that seems cool. Like you, you know, your face is everywhere and you've got lots of money. But I'm yep. like, oh man, so what did you have to do today? Oh no, mm. no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> no, no, I'll be poor. Thank you. <laughs> well, it's good to, uh, to hear that it sounds like you're, you know yourself very well. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I think so. <laughs> Someone has to. <laughs> um, I have some questions regarding the Yamad stuff. Would okay. you be interested in talking about that? Oh, we don't have to. No, 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 we can. Yeah? That's okay. okay. Okay, so I want to know, first of all, how you feel. You'd probably assume there's a chunk of the audience that I've got that have come from them, right? Um, I have no idea. No idea. Okay, no, no. Let me give some background then, especially for the listeners that have no idea. Um, Steph and I have both done this weird youtube series that's not great um and they treated steph like shit and it seems to be angled in a relatively misogynistic manner i also have done it try to get some little extra pocket money and to no surprise of mine it they also treated me terribly Mm. um was not baffled at all but now i do have like a a fair bit of my audience is from there they've crossed over you know yeah um But if you weren't thinking about that anyways, that's great. I'm glad to hear that. Because the ones that have come over are really nice. That makes (laughs) sense. Which is good. Yeah. Thank God. And they're also like, because they've seen me talk about, not talk shit, but talk about the Yamad stuff a little Mm -hmm. bit. And they're all like, these guys fucking suck. So I'm like, yeah, you're on my team. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But basically you did a, a video. Yeah. And got some real awful comments on the internet. It what was like one of the first ones they put up. Yep. And I think, I don't want to, I'm certainly not tooting my own horn by saying this, mm, but I feel like <laughs> that video was responsible for a lot of their... Virality. Oh, completely. Now, completely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, yeah. So there's, you know, there's that. Yeah. But yeah, it was, they hated me. Mm. They hated me. The the audience. Yeah. Their audience yeah. hated me. Yeah. Which... I understand because I, I like I've obviously analyzed it a lot. Yeah, but I bet my behavior was very triggering to a certain population. Mm. Yeah, which a guy being funny, <laughs> and I, I mean, okay, there was a guy trying to be funny. Yep, <laughs> and I didn't laugh. Yep, which was the brief, but it was the brief. Also, not explained in the video that that was the brief. Uh huh. So it just looked like this horrible withholding bitch of a woman was being rude to a very likable, giggly man. Yeah. And yes, of course, if you put that on the internet without without context, context, it looks insane. Yeah. 
And it wasn't just guys that were met. Like, it was a lot of girls yeah. that were like, um, she doesn't represent me. <laughs> I was like, um, I wasn't trying to. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Being a pick-me girl in the comment section is fucked. Like- yeah. <laughs> also, my relationship with um, the other person in the video, Andrew, mm-hmm. was... That was kind of our banter. Yeah. That's our banter yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah, totally. Like, he's like a puppy dog. Yeah. And I'm like, Ugh. Yeah. I kick him <laughs> off. And that's kind of like, it's, I mean, I think he thinks it's funny. Yeah, I think he does. Yeah. I think he actually falls into that position pretty often in friendships. Yeah, exactly. Because he is like a so puppy that was dog. already our vibe. Yeah. And so I just sort of autopiloted into that. Mm-hmm. Also, there was the fact that if you laughed, you have to drink. And yeah. And it was Smirnoff vodka at 10 in the morning. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. which you've got an intolerance to alcohol as well, well right? Like, go bright red from alcohol. Yeah, 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 yeah. My dad's Chinese and I inherited that from him. Yeah, so. a fun trait. Mm-hmm. Um, now, I, I also, I don't drink much anyway, but get a little sick mm. and just generally don't want to be drunk at 10 in the morning. Also, it was 10 shots to uh-huh. if you lost and 10 shots of vodka in a 10-minute space is not... That's safe. not okay. That's not legal. <laughs> That's not legal in Australia. And I had a gig that night. I had to work that night. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. there's lots it's, of things. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. There's lots of things that aren't clear in a 34 second video. Uh-huh. But yeah, I made people very angry. But I think what the thing that really I learned the most about it was my reaction to it. Yeah. Because I know probably if I'd tagged myself and everything and replied to the comments and gone on TikTok and been like, um, yeah, I'm this girl and mm-hmm. owned it mm-hmm. and done all this stuff. I probably could have done quite well in terms of numbers, whether or not that translates to ticket sales. I don't know, but I probably could have got a few more, a lot of yeah. followers from that potentially. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but my instinct was run away. I hate this. I don't want any part of anything that this has to do with. That's completely understandable. Yeah. <laughs> and I couldn't control that response. That was yeah. just, it was such a visceral yeah response and the problem is now it's made me rethink doing comedy as a living fucking hell because because of what we're talking about with the fame yeah 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 yeah. and it's like how do you do this job (laughs) unless people are going to buy tickets yeah to your show yeah so that's where i'm at at the moment i've made peace (laughs) with what's happened but now it's given me a bit of a crisis yeah like a career crisis fucking hell that sucks (laughs) yeah (laughs) i mean it's an interesting thing that you probably would have been like anyone pursuing comedy will be faced with that at some point when you've been going for a certain amount of time and you get potentially certainly well maybe you know, not to that extent maybe but definitely not. one kind of version of that yeah for sure especially women just quietly but yeah. yes yes especially women of course um yeah i mean it's a part of that whole journey is to see how it feels for you and everything but fucking hell it's so understandable to just want to absolutely get away from it because it yeah. sucks i didn't You don't know how you're going to react in that situation. No. I didn't think I'd react like that. I thought, I honestly thought I would like it a little bit. Yeah. And I didn't. Yeah. And that surprised me. I thought I was going to like, because I love performing every night. So in some way, I obviously enjoy the attention of strangers. And obviously need it on some level. (laughs) Yeah. But no, hated it. Hated every, the idea of it, hated the just i just wanted to get out so i have got out yeah but now it's tricky because you know when you're going for jobs and stuff they're like what's your social media following and i'm like um <laughs> i'm not really on there anymore you still got a good social media following don't you no nah, i've Sam. only kept facebook and instagram so yeah. that i can get messages for gigs yep so that's how you get booked is through <laughs> facebook and instagram but yep, I it's don't, very professional i don't <laughs> post any clips of my comedy i've taken everything no. down Fuck. I mean, look, it's not anything that you, obviously you can always go back to that if that's what you want to do. But if yeah. it's helping your brain, like I, I did, you know, a few episodes with the MAD until mm. they um, like I never liked it. I never enjoyed it. And then they started underpaying me and lying and being like really dodgy about this stuff. Yeah. And I really didn't like like the audience that it was uh, attracting as well, because there was a lot of like sexual harassment, like. Yeah. Just ugh, awful shit. Um, and so I backed away from it. And at any point you can just stop doing it and you can go back to it and everything. Yeah. But I feel like what it's done is kind of put you into this world that you can't get out of so easily with online shit, you know? Well, I 
don't like I've untagged myself, but mm-hmm. the video still existed up till like a month ago. Yeah. All those comments were still up. Yeah. Um, it's like over a hundred million views Fucking on hell. just that one video. Yeah. And there's like seven other videos that have, you know, so probably like 150 million or something like yeah. that. Um, it was on Reddit. It was on nine gag. They found people like found me on Instagram and TikTok and mm-hmm. trolled everything that mm-hmm. I had up that wasn't anything to do with yeah mad yeah and that was after I untagged myself so they really yeah. had to work hard oh they do to find me they do yeah so I was really surprised by the effort people were willing to put in <laughs> to oh they're obsessed with you you're living in their head like <laughs> well, that's one thing I, I just didn't I understand the whole like, okay I don't I don't understand why you'd even write something bad on anything ever I know but I can, I sort of get, yeah, it's easy to do it. It's yeah. an easy step. But for them to like take 20 minutes out of their day to hurt me for no reason mm-hmm. means I must have done something incredibly triggering mm. to them. And it was never deliberate. But no, of it's course just, not. It's kind of fascinating. Oh, yeah. It really, really is. So I'm really fascinated by like what motivates someone and also like what happened to them. Like, who yeah. hurt you? Yeah. <laughs> well, man, well, this is the thing. Sometimes if I'm having a really slow afternoon, I will respond to some of the nasty shit. <laughs> and it's not good for me, although it feels good because I am so earnest. Occasionally I'll try to be funny, but I'm so earnestly, like, trying to get to the bottom of mm. what's wrong with them. And they get so upset. They're like, oh, stop trying to take this higher ground shit. And I'm like, no, seriously, like, mm. are you, what happened to you? I'm sorry. I know the world's hard out there. <laughs> it's so much fun. It's wild yeah it is uh, but it is fascinating yeah oh my god um but going through all of that is i would i uh, quite traumatic (laughs) um definitely more than i thought it would be as well yeah 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 yeah. i think that it's a weird and new phenomena that we don't actually know that much about the psychological impacts you know yeah well it is it's a type of trauma i mean i'm not i don't want to compare it to you know actual fucking trauma but it is it is a trauma like totally it took me the full year to recover from it yeah um and even now i'm still very i'm not as um open as i used to be Mm -hmm. yeah which is you know a shame but i'll I'll get back there but it i'm just yeah i'm really amazed and i'm like a grown-up you know so Mm -hmm. i can't even imagine what it's doing to like 20 year olds right yeah this is what i wonder about too or like yeah children yeah Oh, I can't even begin to like, I don't know how I would have handled it if I was a young, younger. No, it's crazy. Mm. Like, like even just my little glimpse has been some of the hardest shit. And I, I'm like, I've got plenty of harder things I would have thought that I can deal with and mm. am resilient with. And this is like, it's just right there. It's in your phone and it's yeah. coming from all these different things. It's such a weird experience. Yeah. And it doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. And it's just hundred. <sighs> it's a hundred thousand people saying you're a bitch. Yeah. Just in one day. And you're oh. like, how do a hundred thousand people even know me to know that I'm. Yeah. Like, it's so Fucking weird. Hell. I'm not anything like I'm not. I mm. don't know. That stuff used to only happen to famous people. Yeah. You used to have to like you could just fly to Europe. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> You know, or like just get away from it. Yeah, all. yeah, yeah. Get yeah. a jet, go for a drive <laughs> That's in it. your it's Lamborghini. Not it's, it's not like, fair no, to have no, I'm this. sitting in a studio apartment with no electricity. Going, why do you hate me? <laughs> Honestly, if you have to deal with this many eyes on you, you should get money given to you so that you can yeah. get off to Paris or wherever. That should be the law. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, yes, that's it. Yeah, I should be rich. You should be compensated for that. If I'm hated that much, I should be rich. It should be like Carl Sanderland's rules, you know? Yes, yes. Uh, but I mean, it was pretty incredible to see how many friends have rallied around you. Mm. And I'm not too sure if you can feel that so directly when you're in the depth of it. But but did you feel like the beautiful support from your community? Or I did, yeah. and I'm. I'm great, so, so, so grateful, mm. but that also really embarrassed me a little bit because okay. that also felt like attention in a way that I didn't want it. Yep. <laughs> yep. Which is so dumb, but. No, no, no. That's completely human, so right? It was, it was so sweet and nice and I'm so glad. Yeah. But also I was like, oh, I don't want attention for that either. I just want it to stop. Like the yep. positive attention didn't 
make up for the negative attention. It just was double attention. Yeah. Which I did. Yeah, okay. In that moment, okay. I just wanted to not exist. Yeah, fuck. Um, and it's, yeah, so that was, but the thing that really stuck with me was um, how many girls reached out and said something similar mm, that happened to them. Yeah. And told me their story. Yeah. And I was like, okay, this is happening everywhere yeah. a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's horrific. I look at comments to make myself. I mean, I think it's a bad habit to be in anyway to just look at comments because it's stupid. They they suck. We shouldn't be able to comment on everyone's shit. But mm. I look at comments of my favorite female comedians yeah. on top of their careers, you know, yeah. and they still in the first few comments have someone telling them that they hate them or yeah. that they're not funny or that yeah. no women are funny. And it's just yeah. insepid. It's everywhere. I don't actually. So I had a couple of like a lot of negative comments on other clips I had up. Mm hmm. If someone says that's not funny, mm -hmm. I don't care. Yeah. When they say women aren't funny, I'm like, yeah. that's not the same thing. <laughs> yeah. It's so not fair. Yeah. <laughs> or women only do sex jokes. I'm oh. like, oh. <laughs> this isn't a sex joke. <laughs> yeah. One. And not, what, what, why is it every, why do I have to represent everyone? Yep. It's just one, like, anyway, I don't know. There's good and bad. I guess the good thing is you get a lot more traction for your clips when you're female. I think there's a lot of guys putting clips out there that don't get any views because yeah. they're not causing a shit discourse. Fight. Whereas, yeah, 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 whereas yeah. me just trying to be funny is already antagonistic <laughs> in a way yep. that leads to attention, mm -hmm. good or bad. It's a very interesting observation. Mm. <laughs> Fuck. And it, you know, it gets better. Like it's, I've only been in comedy like seven and a half years and it's already better than it used to be yeah that's so great it does you know we're heading in the right direction oh totally we'll probably miss we'll probably miss it we're like remember when you could just <laughs> get a gig because you were female remember yeah, 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 remember, yeah, how totally. good that was? <laughs> remember it, just pulling out because you can be bothered oh and then them going that's okay we'll just book you tomorrow and you're going thank you i'm just not feeling it <laughs> my tummy sore and now there's like a hundred women funnier than you you're like fucking hell <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Um, seven and a half years in comedy. Mm. Damn. Are you, are you, you're not from Sydney, right? Are you from yeah, Sydney? Yeah, I'm from Sydney. Wow. Okay. Um, so what do you reckon the split is on your friendship groups? Like, are you still mostly surrounded by comedians these yeah. days? Yeah. 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 I Which is it. a lot of boys too. Um, my I, To be honest, most of my close friends are women. But okay. But there's a few guys that are, you know. Just Possible. The sweetest. <laughs> yeah. Um, and just ones that people that I'm not even like, I wouldn't say, I mean, I would call them friends, but I wouldn't say we're like besties, but I yeah. just sort of trust them. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's really good. And when I see them, it's exciting. You yeah. know, like I would never call them and be like, hey, like, do you want to go for coffee? Yeah. But like if I see them at a gig, I'm like, ah! <laughs> it doesn't, yeah, 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 yeah. I know the feeling. <laughs> it's so good. Um, it's nice that you've got closer girlfriends in comedy yeah. though my god i get way too excited just anytime i've met a girl in comedy let alone started hanging out like mm. i'm way too excited i think i didn't have enough female friends growing up i had I have sisters so like instant mm. female friends but i'm like too keen <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> way too keen yeah and then every time i'm like i'm gonna hold on to you forever this is the most exciting thing in the world that's good it's it is good yeah. i do that as well i'm just like yep you yeah, <laughs> yeah. we're friends now <laughs> sorry that's good <laughs> not optional <laughs> that's so good um do you think that making friends has come easily to you then like i know you had the trick of saying you're just like everyone as a kid <laughs> uh it's easier now that i'm not pretending to not be me <laughs> yep because i'm not really trying to make friends i'm just walking into a space and i'm me yeah and then if people respond to that in a way that i lo that is positive they'll gravitate it towards you yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And i'm like oh cool i reckon we'll be we'll hang out that's so good yeah and if they don't i'm like okay we're probably not a good fit yep yeah that sounds great it's i don't <laughs> i don't know how else to be now no of course of course it's not great for, um, you know, winning everyone or climbing the ladder. and Yeah, but that seems that, – that stuff's so glib. And I really mm. – from what I've observed, 
uh, in comedy so far that doesn't actually work. Like it's such a big. I don't think it does. I don't think I've it does. I've never tried it, but I can't see it working because the ladder keeps changing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. I feel like it works better in something like music. That might just be in my head, but I, I don't, don't know. know. Yeah, I don't know. From like, I also think like once you've been around long enough and people know you're not going anywhere, mm. they'll just even if you don't really like them, you just sort of. Like, there's people I don't, like, I don't not like them. I just, like, have, we're not the same people. Yeah, 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 totally. But also, I know they're not going anywhere. <laughs> so, you just find a way. <laughs> You're like, we have to coexist. Yep, find something to connect to. Technically, we're at work. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, I'm going to be professional. That's good. About it. <laughs> you know, like, there's ways. I don't know. I try to just, I don't try to get on with everyone, but I try to not not get on mm. with everyone but mm-hmm. in saying that if i feel pissed off i usually just say hey i'm pissed off about but not pissed off at you i'm just i'm pissed off about this yeah 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 but also you know i'm gonna be at three of your gigs next week so let's <laughs> <laughs> let's resolve it yeah totally <laughs> that's great do you find people respond well to that i have no idea <laughs> okay because no one's honest but <laughs> it's not getting in the way of my life yep. that i know of good good i really appreciate that i love being confrontational and not like that i um, ever seek confrontation it's just that i it makes sense to me to be honest and to talk about something exactly and it freaks me it not it's weird when people are freaked out by that to me because i'm like but then it's just festering in your head or yeah what (laughs) i think that's just a comedian's brain yeah we don't like retaining stuff we don't want. I <laughs> know. Uh, like, how do I make this feeling someone else's problem? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Um, have you ever suffered a major friendship breakup? I did. So, <gasps> no. Sort of. We, I, I wouldn't say breakup because I still really like her. Mm. Um, but my best friend in high school, I was meant to be like her maid of honor. Mm-hmm. And it, we just weren't that those type of friends anymore and then we had to have this really difficult conversation fuck where i was like i don't think we're that kind of friends anymore yeah um and it was so sad but we both cried and oh yeah but i'm really glad we did because like now it's nice totally respect the hell out of her oh my god so much better than um just going and doing it the vibe being kind of off her having any sort of doubts about you being yeah. in that position oh my god so, what a fucking brave mm. conversation to have well yeah i'm glad we did yeah but sh- she was kind of she was like the girl that taught me that you could kind of just be honest about yeah. stuff oh. like i remember in, one time in high school we were just you know when you're like in high school and you're just everything's like so embarrassing mm-hmm. everything's mortifying mm-hmm. and this guy goes did you fart to her? And oh, I was like, no. I felt it. And she goes, probably. I just kept walking. And I was like, oh my God, you can just do that. That's awesome. You can just do that. Oh my God. So she taught me to just do that. That's so cool. I know. Oh my God. Wow. So how long were you guys friends before mm. it started kind of drifting? Probably like six, seven years. Fuck. Fuck, that's so tough. We're just totally different lives. Like what yeah. we wanted yeah. was different. Yeah, that happens. Mm. I've started to get just like comfortable in that with old friendships and just loving them for what they are. Yeah. It's really nice. I'm way less of a crazy person about it now. Yeah, well, when you don't, you know, when you're not still trying to be like, oh, let's like we're best friends. Like we were in high school. So we're going to yeah. spend every waking second together. So like, you don't have to do that. No. You've got a husband. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and Husband's I'm free during away. the day on weekdays. So, <laughs> you know, it's just not going to happen. Um, might be a great place to move us on. We've got some sleepover games to play. Okay. That's, the, that's what we do here. All right. Yeah. I love I, it. I love to say we. Like, it's a whole team over here <laughs> yeah. at the friend request. It's me. It's just me. <laughs> um... Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. We're going to start with Would You Rather. You okay. know the game? I think so. You familiar? Is it what it you just said? Yeah. Yeah, got it. <laughs> <laughs> you nailed it. Yes. <laughs> okay. Would you rather never be allowed to post on the internet again or yes. have to... <laughs> 
sorry. Yeah, no, 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 no. no. It was this. I, I wrote this the other day when we were meant to record, yeah. and and in hindsight, this is the dumbest question I've ever written. <laughs> or have to partake in yeah, mad. <laughs> oh shit. Um, <laughs> I would do Yeah Mad yeah. every day if it never went online. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. The, that, the it's actual fine. recording experience was quite positive. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't want anyone to ever see it. Nope. Okay. That's fair. Because it's bad <laughs> and shameful. It's so bad. Yeah. I, any requesties that have come from there that enjoy it, I'm so happy for you and I'm grateful that you're here. I personally don't like it. <laughs> It's, it's not for us. Mm-mm. It's not for us. That's it. It's not. It's for children and divorced dads. <laughs> I assume, based on the comment. <laughs> I've actually got some very married dads in the DM. Okay. So yeah, right. just dirtbag dads yep. as well. Great. Yeah, yeah, good, good, it's good. awesome. I love to have unhappily a- <laughs> married dads also acceptable. Uh, I don't know whether their wives know if they're unhappy. They're just really bad. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, would you rather? Have to get advice from one comic at every gig <laughs> <laughs> or yeah. have to give advice to every comic at every gig. I feel like I'm already doing the second one. <laughs> so, I don't, they both sound okay. Yeah? Yeah, I love giving advice. <laughs> I, I, I've got tags for days. Oh, I've, my God. People, I will go up to people I have no right going up to and Steph, be like, I have a tag for you. <laughs> Can you bother me with this, please? Yes. I'm so bad. Of course. But I never know how it's going to be received. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I'm always yeah. like, um, I don't know if you want to know this. Or I'll be like, oh, no, I, this is how I started. I'm like, is that joke new? <laughs> and then they go, no, I've been doing it for five years. Oh, my I'll God. I'll be like, okay, no worries. <laughs> it's great. And then, but if they're like, yeah, I'm just working on it. I'm like, oh, you're still working on it? I'm yeah, happy yeah, to try yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. As if I know. I don't know. I just, you know. No, but it's helpful. I, I love it when people do it to me. Yeah. So I would actually love advice. Okay. Every gig. That okay. would be a dream. I reckon advice. you could get so much better doing totally. that. Totally. And then obviously some of it's bad, but yeah. a lot of it would be great. Yeah. Yeah. No, it is really helpful for getting better though. I've been um, stubborn about like, especially, you know, being with Jacob, mm. who's more than twice as experienced as I am and so funny and great. Yeah. Just a wisdom of like, uh, sorry, a wealth of knowledge yes. right there at my fingertips. And I'm like firmly, when I start talking to him about a new premise, I'm like, Hey, I need to either define if I want help or if I don't want help. And I just want feedback on what I've come up with. Mm. Cause for a while I was being very stubborn being like, no, no, I've really got to try and figure some things out on my own, you know, try and connect some dots. And then I was like, actually, it helps me learn those dots if I talk to him about what he's coming up with as well and other people, you know? Yeah. Oh, you got to write with other people. Yeah, <laughs> it's really helpful. Also, just as a side note, that's why you should only um, sleep with comics that are worse than you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Why? Because then no one ever thinks that they wrote your jokes. <laughs> that's so true. Yeah. Oh, my God, that's genius. Yeah. So Fuck. sleep with hot comics that are worse than you at comedy. Oh, my God. That's really fun. I've got a... You've answered a question on here already. <laughs> hot comics that are worse than you at comedy. Yeah. I think it's a rare... It's hard to find them hot when they're worse than you at comedy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that person doesn't exist that yeah. I just described. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Mm. No, I think... You got to fuck down. I've tried that. Actually, I tried that once and I um didn't respect him. And it was very funny. Mm. Really funny. I didn't like him or respect him. Right. It wasn't good. No. No. <laughs> I but, tried. I gave it a go. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, obviously, you're in a very happy relationship yeah. now. Yeah. So maybe don't listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Because I was about to just yeah. change up my entire life. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. Um... You don't have to dump him. You can make him worse at comedy. Oh, that's my... Actually, he is having a break. Yeah. So if I just make his go. break go for another like ooh, nine years so I can catch perfect. up. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's pretty good. Yeah. I'll give him really bad tags. <laughs> be good. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next game is Fuck, Mary Kill. Oh, God. A classic. Yeah. First one, you already answered. But uh, Fuck, Mary Kill. Mm-hmm. A really hot but very unfunny comic. Mm-hmm. A really funny but very ugly comic. Yeah. And a positive heckler who insists uh, they are helping the show. Okay. Every time. I'm going to kill the heckler yep. straight away. Yep. Um, just because I get a lot of those. Mm-hmm. And I feel like 
I'm doing a service to the comedy community. Yeah, they're not helping the show. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to marry the, the bad comic. Yep, okay. Um, I'm going to fuck the comic that's really funny. Okay. As long as no one finds out about it. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. Not because they're ugly, just because if That's they're so really funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, just, yeah. I don't want anyone thinking. You never want anyone thinking yeah. that you got anything. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. It's like they didn't write for me. <laughs> they, see, this is why I don't let Jacob help with anything. Because yeah. I'm like, I, I cannot ever. But it doesn't matter if he helps. I know. People don't. They don't know. Yeah. No one's actually thinking no, anything. That's it. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm yeah. so scared people are saying and thinking things about me that uh, they're just no not. One's they're just all. not. I don't think people care about us. At I all. know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But sometimes, you know, sometimes you do get a little thing that comes back to you and you're like, they are talking about me. Mm. I was right. Everyone's talking about me. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're not. <laughs> All right, next fuck Mary Kill. Mm. Comedians, musicians, and actors. Oh God. Hmm. I think I'm gonna kill all the comedians <laughs> just for like work. That yeah. Be- oh my God, smart. Yeah. So smart. Just wow. Get rid of them. Um, and then. Oh, okay. I'll fuck a musician. I'll marry the actor, but I don't want to do either of those things. No, but that is, I guess, the less of two evils to marry the actor, right? Well, I feel like the actors would just probably shower more. Yeah. 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 (laughs) And I don't know if they'd have more money. God, it's a hard pick. Well, they'd have a lot more downtime. Yeah, that's true. Probably more likely to have a day job. A bit of a work ethic. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Completely agree. Mm-hmm. I, on a recent episode, had Alexandra Hudson on and we, I think, stopped talking about whatever we were talking about for a solid few minutes just to say down the barrel, like, don't, don't fuck musicians. Like, oh, stay I mean, away. I was, <laughs> I was a musician for 20 years. Oh, so. no, same. I mean, not 20 years, but like 15 years or something. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I think female musicians are fine. Yeah. <laughs> but male musicians are toxic and incorrect <laughs> they're just they're, they're on their own journey i just don't want my sister dating them you know yeah they're, they're just not <laughs> i don't know <laughs> it's not worth it no it's not worth it to get a really average song written about you <laughs> no no it's not <laughs> get a really average song and like potentially an sti mm. it's just not fun <laughs> how many songs have you had written about you um none okay that you know of i've written songs about guys of course um how could you not it's a good time they have not worked (laughs) it doesn't work the other way around wait wait what was the aim to woo them yeah oh my god (laughs) that's awesome (laughs) yeah or i was dating them at the time yeah and then i wrote them a song and then they dumped me very soon after the song okay okay they had heard it, obviously. I had played it for them. Oh, my God. In person? <laughs> no, as a phone message. Oh, I'm okay. A thank God. I mean, that's better, though. Is it? <laughs> yes. I think it's worse. There's no context. <laughs> One of them was in front of them. <laughs> One of them was in front of them. He hated that. <gasps> that's um, awesome. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Oh, my God. I've only ever uh, written, like, post-breakup or, like, in the confusion of a situation ship mm. sort of songs. And... um. Never direct. Oh, I think I've directly sent them to one ex after the fact and they were pretty mad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty they mad. Hate that. They hate it. But for the most part, it's like getting people coming back being like, is this about me? And I really enjoyed that when ah. I was younger. Really enjoyed being like, actually, no, I wrote that five years ago. Suck it. <laughs> <laughs> but you wish. I don't know. Fun power. I didn't know you did were a muse though. I did. Yeah, I was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't dare to bring my ukulele on stage, Steph. Not, Why? not do in your it. city. No. Do it. There should be more of them. I actually, I did once at an open mic. And yeah. it's scary. It's it's way less different. scary. It is less, but it's it's different. I don't know. Was I will say bombing with a song hurts more. Yeah, okay. Because of the effort. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because yep. you have to plug it in. Yep. And pre-plan it. And usually yep. get there early for a sound check. 
uh-huh. and you've carried it with you <laughs> to the gig. So you've got this thing you've brought along. <laughs> it's just like this thing that's there and then you use it and the audience hates it. And then you're like, okay. And then you unplug it and then you've got to take it home <laughs> again. And you're like, I, that was awful. Oh. Whereas at least bombing with the jokes, like, oh, I was just talking. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You're like, that was actually not even written. Yeah. That was just an accident. Yeah, it's like, no, I spent months. I spent months <laughs> on this thing that you guys just hated. <laughs> so long. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, definitely. It's something I'd like to in- explore in like a theater sense one day. We should like, definitely put it in your show. Oh, you reckon? Yeah. Is that how I get the industry attention? No, it just breaks up an hour really nicely. Oh, that's so true. Or a little treat at the end. That's so true. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck. Bring all, bring all the skills out. Oh, if I could juggle, God, that'd you're be so in smart. There. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. I mean, I can't either, so I won't do that. But, but yeah, think anything of, you can do, I that's can, when you just, it's like a one-woman show, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> and cook salmon pretty well. I mean, do it. <laughs> get a hot plate out, make it happen. <laughs> that's really smart that's good advice thank yeah. you <laughs> just just as long as there's air con in the room you don't want to be cooking salmon in there why not i mean <laughs> i have no concept of maybe food do safety. it at the end <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right um we've got one more game mm-hmm. it's the last game all right it's truth or dare yep but i gotta be honest with you i want you to do the dare <laughs> okay <laughs> But I don't think you're going to want to do the dare. Great. Is this setting this up well? I'm scared. You're scared? <laughs> <laughs> Let me just reread the truth. Again, yeah. I wrote this, you know, several days ago mm-hmm. and my brain is not It was a different time back it then. It was. It was. <laughs> back when men were men. <laughs> okay. I'm getting too sweaty and giggly. <laughs> um... Because I already know the answer to the truth because we've been so, you know, we've been getting into things. Uh, okay, I've got another truth, but that's also terrible. So truth or dare, they're both terrible. It's up to you. I think I'm going to pick dare. Okay. <laughs> this is, I think, good. Okay. okay. I dare you mm-hmm. to send I love you guys to the last gig group chat that you have. Like right now? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a brutal one. Oh, no. What is it? It was the laughing at Seizure Kaiser. Yeah, that's awesome. That's perfect. How many of the acts don't you know? Like half? Yeah. Yeah. And one of them, Steve Hughes. <laughs> oh, Steph, please. Okay. All right, I'll get my phone. Okay. <laughs> my favorite thing is playing Truth or Dare and every guest reacting like, well, I've got to do it because it's Truth or Dare. <laughs> You don't have to do anything. I never want to make anyone uncomfortable, but... Um, I'm not worried about me being uncomfortable. Okay, then perfect. I am worried about the repercussions. Woo. Say okay. it was phone hacks afterwards. No, I'll own it. <laughs> I, okay, am I writing love? Is it a heart? What's the deal? I love you guys. It can be a heart or the word love. That's up to you. I love you guys. <laughs> oh is so brutal i'm so sorry i don't even know that, like okay there's four people i don't know okay um yeah steve hughes <laughs> fatty kasab oh. yeah <laughs> yeah okay i sent it oh i hate that <laughs> oh my god you're a hero so thank much. you thank you so much <laughs> you win the bowl of popcorn <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome yeah i'll eat my feelings yay um that's what my show is actually about <laughs> um well that's that's the end of the podcast Aww. thank you so much for that's coming so i'm so glad uh, do you want to tell everyone where they can find you what you got going on um i'm in real life mm-hmm um around sydney okay. if you find a comedy Don't. show i'll be on it in like a week <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Or the day you're there yeah you're on every single show every single night well some very impressive i do all of them if you're like this looks really bad yeah i'll definitely be that one <laughs> yeah and if it's like this one looks really good i'll be there every like three months <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the dream. Yeah. In Australia, <laughs> that's about as good as it yeah, gets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm killing it. 
<laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. Um, do you want to plug socials or anything? Do no. you want, are you getting a message back? Yes. Oh my God. What does it say? Hang on. <laughs> Who stole your phone? <laughs> <laughs> Is that from Seizure? That's from Fatty. Oh, nice. <laughs> I don't know what he means. I'm a very loving person. You're a very loving person. Everyone knows this. That's not out of character for me. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming into the fort. This has been a pleasure. Yes. Um, you guys know where to find me at Chloe Madron on all socials. Please follow the Friend Request podcast Instagram as well. I'd love that. We've got Patreon now if you want to join. Oh, it's very she's exciting. It. She's We've, living her life. Oh, it's happening. We've got actually a, um, we do like a quarterly Zoom slumber party. Oh my God. Yeah. And that's coming up in January. So get on the Patreon. It's the top tier. But if you want to do it, we're going to be playing sleepover games. I'll be on Zoom in the fort. It's going to be really fun. That is really fun. It's going to be really, really fun. Mm. I'm going to bring Jacob on can, in case anyone gets weird. I don't know. I don't trust people. Anyway, <laughs> I made it weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let Jacob deal with it. Yeah, I think that's smart. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.